Hello, hello, and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm going to be doing a general tarot love reading for every single zodiac sign. It's going to be a little mini reading for every single sign. It's the Easter weekend when I'm recording this. It's beautiful, uh, sunny weather, and I just wanted to do a little extra for you guys. So um, there will be timestamps in the comment section. There should be a comment pinned at the top with the timestamps. Um, this is just going to be a little mini love reading for every sign and i'm going to be asking here what's coming towards you when it comes to your love life uh, or relationships in general this uh, is a timeless reading so whenever you come across it you might find that what i'm describing here uh, is something you've already experienced or experiencing right now or it could be future influence as well whenever i'm saying this is how you feel about someone this is how they feel about you if it resonates for you the other way around just reverse the roles that's absolutely fine uh, of course, please do take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. And you might want to listen to all of your major placements. I would recommend Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in particular. So I'm going to start off with getting a base card for every single sign with the top 12 cards from this deck. And then I will go through each one and do a little mini reading. So can I get the top 12 cards? All signs running from Aries to Pisces the base energy for their love reading today please with the top 12 cards if you're new to the channel then thank you so much for giving me a try i really appreciate it and huge welcome and if you're a returning subscriber then thank you so much for all your amazing support it really means the world thank you so much so top 12 cards please what is coming towards my lovely viewers when it comes to love Okay, let's do it. Aries. Taurus, I will tell you what they are as I go through each reading. So, well, I could tell you now, actually. Aries, you've got the Eight of Wands. Taurus is the High Priestess. Gemini is the Hermit. Uh, Cancer, you've got the Ace of Swords. Leo is the Page of Pentacles. Virgo, you've got the Two of Swords. Libra is the star. Scorpio, you've got the devil. Sag is the knight of wands. Capricorn, you've got the seven of cups. Aquarius, you've got the nine of cups. And finally, Pisces, you have the king of wands. Okay, bottom of the deck, this kind of like overall energy uh, for the reading is the seven of wands. So, hmm. This Seven of Wands is one of those cards that can be read many different ways. It's, uh, But it can talk about a bit of a blockage I'm getting uh, of maybe there's some sort of target or destination that you ha someone has their eye on. And there it does seem to be something standing in the way. Uh, or it could be read the other way around that the, the target that I'm seeing here is actually behind someone and they're trying to protect it from anyone getting close to it. So let's just get into these mini readings, shall we? Aries. Happy birthday, by the way. We're in Aries season when I'm recording this. Uh, you've got the Eight of Wands, which talks about exciting, back and forward communication, lots of messages flying through with the Eight of Wands. Um, it also gives me a sense that um, like there might be new directions, new paths opening up to you uh, in, when it comes to relationships, romance. Um, there could be new opportunities that, but like the potential maybe for travel or the potential which is going to take you in many different directions. There's a sense of, I'm getting of explore, exploration, adventure, um, and also, oh God, I hate this word, but synergy. So this reminds me of like management doublespeak, but it's just a little bit of like, this is, it's very, um, it's working in harmony this excitement this it's all flowing very nicely and things could be picking up a little bit of speed here as well for you when it comes to your love life so uh, my hand went to this deck so let's get some more tell me more for aries please now, tell me about this eight of wands thank you Three of Wands and the Page of Wands, but they both came out in reverse. See, that's interesting. That's feeling like 
you're either not expecting a message or you don't see this on the horizon. You don't, there's, huh. Oh, what, what is this? It's like there is someone calling you to, from a distance, um, but you are like missing their call or something. Tell me more. It's like someone looking for you is what I'm getting, but you're not seeing it. Tell me about this. Hanged man and the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Eight of swords flying around with the six of cups. Um, is this someone trying to get back in touch with you, Aries, in the near future? I am asking what's coming towards you regarding your love life. Um, I don't know if someone is trying to get back in touch. They might be sending you a message. It could be a long distance phone call or something like that. Um, but I don't know if you no longer are thinking about them in the same way. What is this? Five, ooh. <laughs> Five of swords. Um, you, uh, well, interesting. So there's, there's messages here from someone, but I also kind of get, there might be two people contacting you at the same time in the near future areas. Uh, one of them, you expect trouble from their, their, in, their intentions. You don't really trust their intentions here. Um, you sense that this is like going to bring conflict or, or mm, confusion or chaos into your life. Um, so there might be one person who's getting back, back in touch, which you might be ignoring their, their messages or their tr attempts to contact you. Um, Okay, this could all be one person, but let's see. Tell me more for Aries, please. What is this? What am I getting? This is like... It's like you're looking at someone um, pessimistically for the potential future. You feel like... Um, it's like you're, you are putting a block in place, but it's, it's something that you've... In your head is creating a blockage this person to communicate with you what is this you might be putting them on hold maybe asking them to give you some space for a while uh, hmm. what is this five of pentacles in reverse does someone want to come out of the cold with you Aries, uh, or the, the two of swords and the hermit. Uh, I do get the sense of you ignoring someone actually who's trying to communicate with you in the new future Aries. Um, this is like you switching your phone off or like, um, maybe you're trying to take time away from your phone or something like this. And in the process of kind of being in a um, I feel like you're taking time out. Maybe you're going on some, um, like a mental health break or something like this. And in the process, choosing to, um, not take, not take someone's call and not reply to their message. What is this? Why is the eight of wands here then? Six of swords in reverse and the nine of wands. You don't see, um a way forward with someone and you are protecting yourself. There's that seven of wands energy I was getting here. I think you are um, actually protecting yourself from someone trying to get back in touch. Um, you have a wall up to this person and you don't see uh, there being a solution. So you're kind of either ignoring them for the sake of your mental health or your own well-being, or you are just really suspicious about their intentions. You're looking at them differently. <laughs> Six of Cups in reverse has just come out. Um, I 
I don't know if this is a, um, potentially an ex-spouse who's getting in touch, ex-husband or ex-wife, who's maybe trying to get in touch. Who is this for Aries? How will they know them? Uh, Nine of Wands comes out with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Well, there you are, Aries. Um, how does Aries know this person? Because you do know them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Judgment. Um... This is, well, we are heading towards a Mercury retrograde when I'm filming this, although this is a timeless reading, but this is someone trying to resurrect um, a communication with you um, and resurrect the connection. But I don't know if when you were in touch, they may have been a little bit, um, either they brought drama into your life, um, they brought arguments with them or there was some sort of argument or or conflict that has changed your mind about them that you're actually now seeing this person differently you're seeing them as a bit of an arrogant um petty ass basically anything else for aries <laughs> the eight of wands looked see this is why i was like let me go through each one first before i say which card it is because the eight of wands is generally quite positive but uh, anything else for Aries? Yeah, I see you. You're going to be enjoying yourself in the near future, Aries. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups that have come out and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is you spending more time with your friends, socialising, you know, having a good time, enjoying yourself and being very happy. Um, I feel like you might have be experiencing like a bit of a... Um, like a second wind is what I want to say, or like a, a, re, a renewal of yourself, your self-confidence, your happiness. You're feeling very, very positive going forward. You're, um, you're doing great. And it's just someone getting back in touch in the near future who you feel is going to drag you back down to out of the place that you're, you're at now. Uh, and it's going to basically um, throw you off the um, development, the... That you've made like the it's like you already overcome you already overcame uh however this person made you feel or the the boundaries that this person overstepped with you in the past you've already overcome that and you are a different person now potentially you may feel changed but for the better and there's someone getting in touch and you are either ignoring them completely or um really suspicious about them trying to get back in touch any other message for aries mm. we've got the badger spirit be fearless and bold the fox spirit think on your feet which uh yeah it can be a little bit mischievous with the fox energy as well and the dove spirit be be peace. Um, I think you just want to protect your peace, to be honest. And you are being asked to kind of be smart about... There could be someone trying to um, not play you, but kind of um, get past your defences in a, a sneaky way. Uh, it's, it's telling you to basically have the courage to stand up for your own um, peace of mind and also watch out for anyone trying to be clever in how they approach you to maybe get their way. That's kind of what I want to say. Uh, okay, that's what I've got for you this time, Aries. Short and sweet, just a quick one today. I hope you found it useful. So let's move on. Let me just tidy these up. So Taurus. You have got the High Priestess, which can be Pisces energy. Uh, it is, it's, I mean, it could be telling you in terms of what's coming for, towards you with your love life to um, trust your gut and maybe not, then keep some things to yourself. Uh, maybe this could be, I also, also almost want to say, don't ask people for advice with what's coming towards you next because I feel like that might confuse you. I'm actually looking straight down the earth sign column right now and it's the High Priestess, the Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups and 
it's that is a, a confusion energy i mean i'll get to those signs but it's like not knowing what to do having lots of different opinions in the mix and therefore kind of being left at a an impasse of um l like losing focus i feel like with this high priestess you already know what you need to do with what's coming towards you next in your love life uh, and you should stick to your guns and listen to yourself basically is what I want to say. Um, let's find out more. Why is the High Priestess here for Taurus for what's coming towards them? The King of Swords flew out. Uh, now that is Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, this King of Swords, you see how he's got, he's holding onto that sword there that's pointed down and he's holding onto it quite tightly as well. So this definitely gives me a sense of you holding your cards very close to the, your chest or the vest or whatever the phrase is. And um, maybe choosing your words carefully is what I want to say as well. And choosing who you tell what's going on in your love life too. This is like you being a little bit of a closed book, but you know a lot, but you're keeping it to yourself. Tell me more for Taurus, please. Knight of Cups with the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Or well, this could be someone else, to be fair, who's, who is keeping their words to themselves about you because they may feel you're not interested in them. So they're keeping their feelings, they're being tight-lipped about their feelings because they kind of know how it's gonna go. Let's see, tell me more. Ten of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles. There's an energy here of someone um, has been trying to do something on their own and it hasn't been successful but they've been trying and trying to just work alone about whatever it is and there's um there is success or they feel like there's going to be success of partnering up instead now they've kind of learnt the lesson potentially that they don't need to do whatever that was on their own maybe it's just be you know live completely on their own without taking help from anyone about anything um, but they're, they're seeing the, the possible success that might come from partnering up and working together as a team. Um, they, there might be a bit of an apology coming towards you for someone who just was, was behaving very detached from you. Tell me more. Taurus. Yeah, someone wasn't putting the fair fair share in, basically. They um they might have been being um self-focused or a little bit selfish or just not putting their weight in the situation. It could also be that if you, Taurus, felt like a situation was one-sided uh, in terms of effort being made, you may have given up and let it go. Um in which case someone might want to kind of apologize for not doing their fair share and to make that right by actually getting on a board with you. What's this high priestess energy though? The emperor, eight of pentacles now. Oh, four of swords with the king of pentacles. There you go. That's the, um, did I not just talk, just say about like, being tight-lipped and not telling everyone your business, basically, in the near future. And there we go. There's that. This can be you, Taurus, with the King of Pentacles. Um, that is, I think that is card represented by Taurus, but it's Earth energy anyway. Um, and this is literally hidden behind it. This is um, a King of Pentacles who is, you know, keeping his business to himself. It could be, is this a boss, Taurus? who has their eye on you, but, um, cause the Aries, I'm oh, sorry, the Emperor, it's the card of Aries, 
but it can be uh, someone senior to you in in your career, in your workplace. And the Eight of Pentacles can talk about work as well. Who's this Emperor? And what was sorry, what's the Knight of Cups about then? Seven of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Um it does seem that there is someone potentially who has feelings for you, Taurus. As I said, if it's the other way around, just flip it. But they are have been absolutely or they are will will be silent about this. Or if not to you, then to everybody else. This is like um a hidden relationship going on the two of you are working on together um in some form but you're not letting other people know about it uh this could be a because someone needs to wrap up something else fully or in the the uh, it could be because they just finished something else they are um they could be trying to keep it quiet to other people from knowing that they've already moved on or they're starting to build with you Taurus um but there is definitely this I think it's more privacy from everybody else or that's going to be a fact because that's the first thing that came to me with that high priestess is you keeping your business to yourself and it's probably for the best because everyone's going to have an opinion on this for some reason Okay, let's get you a spirit animal card. Again, with the seven of wands, the overall energy, this tells, this is giving me for you, it's more like you're protecting what potentially a budding connection or something that's growing. You're trying to protect it from the opinions, the energy of every onlooker. Okay, uh, Taurus, please. like six is way too many let's see whoa seven okay mm. let me just try and get you one sorry for taurus please message for taurus just one <laughs> Okay, um, so Taurus, you've got the Nightingale spirit, which is love is all around. But it's interesting because you see how underneath this hummingbird is like a, um, it's like a gramophone horn, you know, with the music that comes out. But that's like putting a relationship on blast. And I don't think you're doing that right now. And then the card that came out with the Nightingale is the Panther spirit, which is reclaim your power. Um, I feel like you're finding some sort of power in your privacy, like uh, not everyone needs to know your business and it's also, it's. I feel like you're going to be empowered by that a little bit in the near future in terms of there is so much love going on in your life and no one has to know about it. Uh, and it's good. It's like you, you don't need the validation of or opinions of onlookers about this. The other cards that came out, we've got the mouse spirit, tend to the small things, and the rhino spirit, overcome any obstacles. So it's interesting because the rhino is, we think of it as a massive, powerful creature, and the mouse is itty bitty little, um, sweet, tiny, teeny tiny creature. It's almost like incrementally, the big boulder that's standing in the way can be broken down by i always want to say lots of um what's that phrase many hands make for quick work that's not the phrase but you know what i mean like it's um just like bit by bit anything massive can be broken down um and the chameleon spirit is at the bottom which is act as if so i think there is going to be a little bit of acting going on from you when it comes to your love life um to kind of uh, depending on your surroundings you're going to be 
fitting in, not in a uh, sneaky way, but in, in like a, no one's knowing what's really going on with you, Taurus. What the, uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, that's what I've got for you this time. I hope you enjoyed it. So, Gemini, you have the Hermit, another major arcana, and that is Virgo's major arcana as well. Now, this could talk about you taking some time out in the near future from um, some sort of love life situation, whether it's looking for love and or, you know, an existing relationship and turning more inward um, to kind of maybe find some answers uh, on your own or or even find out what some sort of answer is within yourself. If you have some sort of question or a, a choice to make, you may be turning inward to kind of silence out the noise and receive the answer. Uh, you might be spending, I mean, you can be in the hermit energy and be out and about with people, like, but inside, you know, you're very internalized. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be spending a lot of time on your own, but you are searching for some sort of answer is what I'm getting. Um, let's see. Why is the hermit here for Gemini, please? The king of pentacles and the temperance card is at the bottom of the deck. So King of Pentacles is Earth energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, Temperance is Sag energy, but but that Temperance card does tell me potentially there could be a little bit of um, you might be going on a little bit of a um, taking a bit of a break for some self care, uh, maybe even to you need a holiday is kind of what I'm getting. Just some peace, uh, peace and quiet and healing. Could be about, to think about a King of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here for Gemini. The Magician. Oh, wow, my God. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles has just come out. So you have the King and Queen of Pentacles, Gemini, with the Magician. And the Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So that is... Wow. This could be a, a decision that you need to make about a commitment um, that is playing on your mind heavily and you're going to need maybe some space, maybe some time to make your decision because it's a big one. Uh, now, it could be whether you want to commit to somebody, whether you're ready for um, a long-term commitment, marriage, or it could be if you're already in that place with that person, making a decision on whether it's something that's salvageable or that you want to move away from. Um, and end. So let's see what's going on here. Tell me about the King Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. The Nine of Swords comes out now. Tell me more. What is this decision? Damn it. The oh. is the nine of cups sorry bear with me one second Oi. okay of course something had to fall on the floor uh we've got the nine of cups the nine of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck nine of cups threw itself on the floor and the king of wands came out and actually landed on top of the devil that's here for scorpio um Tell me more. We've got 999 nine, nine, actually, with nine of swords, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Is this a choice between two people? Gemini? Oh my god, now the Queen of Cups has come out. Oh my god, the King of Swords. You got three kings. 
Gemini, what's going on? Um, okay, so it looks like there is a lot. No wonder you need some space and to kind of uh, get away, I want to say, from people who are maybe hounding you for some sort of answer. Um, there's, there's a lot of people involved by the looks of it, but it feels like there's one person in your near future or in your life already who you don't trust the information they're giving you or the advice that they're giving you um uh, for some of you you could be torn between um trying to make a commitment work with someone that you've shared history with and between them and someone who there is maybe they've got their eye on you there's a lot of attraction they're maybe sending you some flirty messages maybe it's might be a very lusty um strong sexual chemistry with someone else um and there's a question here about who really makes you happy are, are you i'm getting like are you only holding on to someone due to like emotional sentimentality is what pops into my head so maybe that's how you feel about maybe this king of pentacles um you are really thinking about someone who is you're very attracted to um but there is a concern about whether you can believe what someone is telling you as well um just head of my head change decks immediately so anything else for gemini please Add. the queen of cups has come out she is here on from the last deck i was using as well and the king of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck yep underneath the king of pentacles is the ten of swords and the two of wands uh yeah here is this king of pentacles to Gemini. The, wow, my God, what's going on? Now you have the King and Queen of Cups. The King of Cups is the card that came out on its own. Uh, on, and then you've got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What's going on? Is this, what about the King and Queen of Cups? Because this is like, you've got two couples. I haven't even got that many cards out, Gemini. Um, the lovers of course and the six of cups is this an ex getting back in touch this could all be about one person but i there's so many kings there's all four kings out now um i i feel like you have a choice basically coming up uh it, there may be someone that you have history with you feel like potentially you're holding on to that because of um that history, memory lane, you know, sentimentality kind of thing, uh, more than it's because that's the person that you want to be with. There could be someone else coming back, uh, potentially from your past, who is also confusing you. There's someone that you don't necessarily feel like you can trust that what they're telling you is the truth or that they are necessarily very honourable. Um, and there does seem to be a couple in the mix. Like if you're maybe in a couple, but things have been rocky and there's going to be... So basically, what's happening is you have some choices to make in the near future, Gemini, when it comes to your love life. And the advice is, I would say, that you're going to need to... Probably, maybe a change of scenery might help. Take a bit of a, a step back. We are, as um, I'm recording this, heading into a Mercury retrograde season. It's not advisable to make massive decisions during a Mercury retrograde because you'll probably change your mind when it goes direct again. Um, so this, this is a time for introspection. And yeah, I would say kind of getting away from everything, uh, maybe spending some time in nature and reconnecting and deciding what you want. Uh, can I get a card for Gemini, please?
uh, the card that came out is the Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. And you also have at the bottom of the deck the Horse Spirit. Freedom is yours. And the deck split, so the Coyote Spirit. Trust in divine detours. Um, I mean, that being said, as I said about Mercury Retrograde, if you do feel that you need to make a decision, then it, it you know, what... It will be for the best that you do. Maybe it w it'll work out in an unexpected way, uh, whatever you, decision you do make. But it might be for the best, whatever happens, I, you know, for the long, in the big picture kind of long view. Um, but there is, yeah, the, I mean, the, the fact is that you do have the freedom to make whatever choice you want. Um, hmm. I mean, with the... The groundhog that does that is that energy of doing the same thing over and over and is that really making you happy so that's what i've got for you gemini interesting reading i hope that you found it useful um so moving on we have cancer cancer you have the ace of swords that is the only ace on the today's table um for the base energy so the ace of swords talks about clarity um, a realization potentially, a truth being spoken, a truth being realized. Um, I am getting kind of like a, a bit of a blunt truth here actually off of this card. Uh, maybe cutting, <laughs> cutting through the crap. I want to say no, but like cutting through um, the being fluffy uh, or, you know, trying to be delicate about a situation. I actually see that this truth is kind of piercing uh, any delicacy, let's just say. Um, let's see what's going on. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for Cancer, please. What's coming towards them in their love life? It could be you standing your ground, speaking your truth and being quite firm about it. Um, you know, whether it steps on someone's foot on feet or not. Um, tell me about this Ace of Swords. Judgment. Uh, we've got the Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck who can deliver a message. Um, we've got Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Ooh, I just got in my head. Uh, it's time to um, shit or get off the pot, basically. I know it's not the most elegant phrase in the world, but it's just what jumped into my head. Uh, this could be a bit of an ultimatum energy. Uh, I don't know if you've got someone here, Cancer, who has been, who is in a position where they could commit. They're single, they're stable, they're secure. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing external, fact, no external factors holding them back from committing. But they are trying to keep things um, on a casual basis only. Um could be serving them an ultimatum. Let's see what's going on though. What's this judge? Wow, I just saw Justice and the Magician. Uh, this feels like a very direct, determined conversation you might be having with someone, Cancer, where you're being very straightforward and you want to make a reality um, happen, which is actually fair and desirable for you. I mean, it's fair enough, but it's like, it's, I feel like this is you getting really real and then justice comes out as I'm talking with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be someone else who is getting real about the fact that they want something with you, Cancer, as well. Tell me more, what's this judgment? Oh, hold on. The Ace of Cups came out with the Fool. Oh, the Hierophant. Uh, oh, wow, that is, um, that is talk about, okay, let's do this. Let's have a, a new chapter in love. Can, can be a renewal of, I mean, with the judgment, this can talk about resurrection energy, but, um, but I mean, I just get more like a, it's now, it's now or never. And it is about um, a relationship. D let's do this kind of thing. Maybe there has been someone who was 
maybe not friends of benefits, but just like a, a question mark, you know, someone who you, you, you've crossed the line from friendship with, but it, uh, they, they're still single, you're still single. It's, um, yeah, this is a, um, okay, I want this, you know, kind of thing. But at the bottom of the deck, so the deck split when those cards came out, we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let me, I'm going to keep the Seven of Swords there. Let me use this deck. Tell me more about this because this is... Tell me about this Emperor for Cancer, please. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Well, that's interesting because the Emperor came out with the Nine of Pentacles upright. And now the Nine of Pentacles has come out in reverse. Why? The King of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? The, what? The Empress in reverse. This is about the Emperor, bearing in mind. Hold on. This feels like potentially cancer. You might have someone coming towards you who was dragging their feet because they were trying to make a marriage work. And why is, why is the Empress in reverse? Hanged man in reverse with three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, wow. Three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, <laughs> I feel like someone is coming towards you, Cancer, who has been trying to make their marriage work. Um, I don't think they're going to be telling you this that basically they have been trying really hard against all odds to make a connection, an existing marriage, or it can be long-term commitment, make it still be success, but they've basically been banging their head against the wall. But they are um, seem to be coming to offer you a new beginning in love, but they're not telling you about that because also underneath the Seven of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress. This is basically someone hiding the fact, you know, with their, uh, their flirtatious move towards you, they're making their interest known, their passionate communication, let's just say. Um, this person knows that your opinion of them and of the situation would be different and not necessarily as positive if you knew that basically all that they'd invested into their empress has not worked out, which is why they are coming towards you. Um, things have changed for the positive for the two of you to actually have a new beginning, as in the context has changed so they are now more open to that because they may that could be the realization that it's just not going to work with whoever this empress was in their life whether it was a a wife or a committed partner it's they've had the realization look it's not going to it's not working so they are coming towards you german uh, sorry cancer um but they are not being honest with you about that. Uh, let me just get you a spirit animal card. There we go. Be spirit. Sweet results await. And the dear spirit bring a gentle touch. So, I mean, it does suggest that this could actually be a positive turn of events for you. Um, the bee spirit, if you think about bees and the like, hive, they work together as a colony and they do make beautiful, sweet honey 
sweet success as a result of working together and this could be um this could be achieved through bringing like this soft gentle approach and not being too harsh i mean you are a cancer i'm sure you'd be fine with that um but uh yeah that's what i've got for you i hope it was useful thank you so much for watching i should have said by now but um please do hit the like button for me anyone who's watching i'd really appreciate it just it takes a second it's free for you to do and it means the world to the channel the video to me um so thank you so much for doing so okay let's move on to my next row we have leo my lovely leos we have got the page of pentacles so um the page of pentacles is a very i'm giving like an innocent energy it is a message it can be talk about friendship it can talk about um someone giving a, a little gift a little memento someone who's been thinking about you or obviously the other way around and um, maybe this is i'm getting like a i saw this and thought of you kind of gift not enormous just something sweet and thoughtful or this could just all be that kind of energy but in a message just i was just thinking of you how are you doing um yeah that's what i'm getting off of it so far so let's dive into it tell me about this for leo this is what's coming towards leo and their love life please why is the page of pentacles here for leo oh why do you have to ruin it <laughs> seven of swords came out and the Queen of Swords, so the deck split show the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Cups. Okay, well, maybe, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Underneath the Queen of Swords, we have the Devil, and then underneath the Devil is the Page of Pentacles, which is your base card. Um, hmm. Okay, so I, I'm going to get some more cards in a second, but straight off the bat, I'm not necessarily feeling... The Seven of Swords is hugely awful in this case, Leo. I'm getting more the sense that someone is hiding the fact that this is a little bit of a strategy to try and get back in your good books um, because they do still have feelings. There are feelings there for you, um, but you might feel negatively towards this person or that... Maybe they, you feel like they already burnt you once. You don't want to get burnt again by this person. You may have already cut them out for, um, in your opinion, being um, not someone you wanted to deal with. Just, just put it that way. Or, you know, having some toxic qualities that you didn't appreciate. And I do feel like there's a sense of pride from this person as well. Um, of maybe knowing that they acted up, that they screwed something up or screwed up the potential of something with you, let's just say. Um, but they are not wanting it to necessarily own that completely. Maybe a little bit of pride and ego, but they do want to... Yeah, so that's what I'm going so far. I, so let's see. Just kind of uh, approaching it in like a friendly way to... Because if they went full, like tried to play on your emotional strings, then you might slam the door metaphorically in their face. So they're approaching it from like a softly, softly catchy monkey kind of approach. Uh, tell me more. Why the Seven of Swords? <laughs> yeah. Three of Pentacles. So there's that strategy. This is a plan. This is a game plan. Yeah, they have, they're thinking the long, they're playing the long game, Leo. This is like step one of their master plan is to send you this message. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> the nine of wands came out. So there's that um, your wariness towards them, your protection of yourself. you are like got a wall up for this person. And then the deck split to show again the page of pentacles and the five of cups. Um, this person who's getting in touch is disappointed by how things have already played out with you. And I'm also getting a little bit um, disappointed in themselves by maybe not being where you are in life or how much you've achieved they don't feel like they have. Um, maybe also disappointed that they had a shot with someone like you and they 
screwed it up and uh, maybe they acted selfishly in the past. Um, it does feel like this is someone you've had some sort of ending with. Uh, or maybe just something just didn't get off the ground properly. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is, uh, I feel like that's you, Leo. Why is, uh, if it's the other way around, just flip it. But why is Leo in this Nine of Wands energy about this person getting in touch? Two of Wands, why? Two of Pentacles. Uh, okay. Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Oof. Oh, the Moon. Oh, my God, Leo. Uh, so, basically, you're guarded because it seems like this person really hurt you at some point. Really, like, it might have been a sense of betrayal or they kind of got your hopes up or they got your heart up. <laughs> I don't know. Like, they got your heart connected and um, your emotions flowing and then you don't know what the hell happened, really, but it all went to shit because underneath the Ten of Swords, we have the Three of Swords and then the Moon and then the Tower. This is, um, you feel like, maybe you feel like they were juggling you with somebody else. They may, or either that or they made a choice to go in a different direction and dropped you. Um, this feels like someone who was trying to have you and have another situation, whether that was another person or if it was their career or something, and they went very cold in terms of their decision making and they, you know, they kind of shut it down or very coldly cut you out without an explanation. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why you're um, feeling wounded by them, which is understandable. Um, so anything else about what's this? Tell me more about this message that's coming towards Leo. Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Bearing in mind, this is the overall energy for this reading. So in this case, Leo, it's basically they are trying to perfect this pentacle, this message that the page is bringing you. Um, because they know that they stand a very strong chance of meeting resistance from you. Underneath the Seven of Wands is the Two of Swords. So this is, um, you know, it's going to be, they're not expecting you to necessarily uh, even read it, you know, to give it a full proper appraisal, to give it a second, to give them a second look. So with the Ace of Pentacles, they're, you know, they're working hard to try and make sure that um, their message or their, their gift or whatever is um, effective. Tell me more. Oh, Four of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Nine of Cups. This is someone who I feel like you've already given up on this chapter and you're happening in your life. The communication is at a standstill between you and this person. This person is breaking that silence to communicate with you, Leo. Um, because what they want is another chance. That, oh, wow. Yeah, this is um, giving me um, a separation phase that ha has happened between the two of you is coming to an end because they are they're really disappointed in the, the fact that they let you go. This is someone who has you up on a bit of a pedestal now, Leo. Yeah. Sorry, the Ace of Swords just came out. Um, bottom of the deck is the Magician and then the Star is there. So they have, maybe there's been some time they thought about things differently. <laughs> Look at this. And this is in third deck now, but the Magician underneath that is the Two of Cups. Underneath that, Page of Pentacles. So this is someone wanting to, um, build from the very ground up with you, Leo. Uh, they know they have some work to do um, for you to give them the chance to even communicate with you again. Uh, let's just get you a spirit animal card to finish up for Leo, please. But yeah, expect someone to get in touch and um, they're gonna start off small 
um, so that they don't it's like small enough that you replying won't be you're not giving them how can I put it if they started off too big if you replied you'd have to kind of acknowledge the fact that you forgive them straight away I'm not saying that you do or don't or whatever but if they're, they're like they're starting off small because it's some in such a way that you can reply without losing any um, ground, if you like, without, um, yeah. So, spirit animal card for Leo, please. There we go. You got two, you've got <laughs> the porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind. I think I've said this is literally starting from the ground up with you again, uh, Leo, and that is the beginning. But also, if you think about a porcupine, sweet little guys, but they are covered in sharp, spiny, um, protective needles. So, um, yeah, softly, softly, catchy porcupiney. And the other card that came out is the Sandpiper Spirit, which is Be Playful. So, yeah, they're coming in softly, maybe... Bit, bit jokey, bit playful to kind of ease those spines down on uh, from your defences. And at the bottom of the deck, again, uh, you've got the horse spirit. Freedom is yours. This is the 3-3 card as well in this deck, the 33 card. So uh, you might be seeing 3-3-3 as well uh, for confirmation. But lovely. That's what I've got for you this time, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. So next up we have Virgo. Virgo, you have the Two of Swords. So this is kind of giving me the sense that you maybe had a bit of a stalemate or um, at some sort of um, impasse in the near future when it comes to maybe a love life situation. This could be a little bit of, I'm kind of getting two people on very, being very firm, standing very firm on their sides, their pers two sides of an argument two perspectives on a situation and neither person wanting to budge. So I guess that I've just described a stalemate, but yet in that kind of scenario, like there's just no compromise going on is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, let's see. Why is the two of swords here for Virgo? What's coming towards them in their love life? Why the two of swords? Judgment, mm. which can talk about time to make a decision. The Two of Swords can also kind of talk about trying to ignore something, trying to be in denial about a situation or, or a decision that needs to be made. Um, yeah, there's that judgment energy of like, it's kind of the similar energy to Cancer that I was getting that like, you know, you kind of like someone's tried to avoid making some sort of decision one way or another for long enough. Let's see, what is this about? Two of Swords for Virgo. The Eight of Cups. And we've got Temperance and Justice when the deck split for that to come out. So that's Libra and Sagittarius energy. Ooh, I just saw the King of Swords as well. Um, so Virgo, it may be that someone has been avoiding the harsh, maybe blunt truth, um, that it might be fairer for everyone involved in a situation to let it go, to walk away from something. Uh, why the Eight of Cups, please? Five of Swords, mm, that is kind of dancing around a subject in the hopes that we can just kind of ignore it. It's a false victory. It's a, it's like um, there's an elephant in the room that we're not discussing and that doesn't actually mean that the elephant goes away. The elephant just gets bigger and bigger until there's no air left in the room. Um, tell me about this Five of Swords. Seven of Cups. Capricorn's got that card for their base energy as well. I mean, that is... Uh, so yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. 
Oh, there's there's avoidance here, Virgo, confusion. Um, this is someone trying to trying to maybe put off a decision to procrastinate to kind of well, I'll make the decision when the timing is better. What is this? Seven of Cups. What's the confusion about? Five of Wands, uh, which was kind of trying to. Ah, this is like. Confusion about the fallout from something. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Tell me more for Virgo, please. What's this Five of Swords? Hmm. This could also talk about someone trying to come back into your life, Virgo, with that judgment resurrection kind of energy. Now, if they are, they could be trying to avoid um, having a conversation about whatever the reason was that they left your life before, if that makes sense. It's like trying to sweep something under the carpet kind of energy is what I keep getting. Tell me more. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Like, why did they leave in the first place? Are we not going to talk about that? Could be confusion over whether it's it's best to have that conversation or if that's going to lead to more conflict. It's like um, someone torn in two different directions emotionally about something. Oh, the tower just came out. The Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck and Justice again. Why the tower? Nine of Pentacles. Mm. There's a sneaky energy going on here, Virgo. I feel like you're actually in a pretty good place uh, in terms of your own stability. You might be a single parent um, and you're kind of... So the Two of Cups came out and then this Nine of Pentacles. This Two of Cups card in this deck is actually more talking about um, being your own soulmate. Um, you see how she's kind of like cheering herself like as in chin chinning the glasses with her, the reflection of herself so basically there's no second person that completes this person in this two of cups card it's all they find that within themselves and then we've got the nine of pentacles which is also very independent self-sufficient um seems like someone is trying to come back but I feel like this is someone you've had um you had conflict with before and they might be trying to sneak back in not telling you their full intentions um what are this person's intentions that's coming towards Virgo in their love life in the near future what are their intentions true intentions please what are the intentions of the person coming towards Virgo in their love life? Okay. We have got uh, the Novice of Wands, Seven of Wands, again, overall base energy for the entire reading, and it's there from 
this deck now. Uh, Seven of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Initiate of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. Um, Dave, I feel like this person has ended something else. Elsewhere. That has freed them to do what's well, given them their freedom. But at the same time, they want your help with something, Virgo. They kind of see you doing very well for yourself because they've got the Nine of Cups again. Oh no, sorry, that was the Nine of Pentacles before, but it gives me that <laughs> similar. This is like you are on your own, but you can you know, buy yourself whatever you want, whenever you want it. You, you're perfectly happy, self-sustained. Um, someone wants your help with something. Not getting it from this deck. Uh, tell me anything else that Virgo needs to know. Uh, well, that Two of Swords could also just be your not sure what to do with this with this person you're not sure what decision to make you are confused if they are withholding information from you you kind of i feel like you might be getting a gut feeling that they're not telling you the whole story tell me more thank you mm -hmm. four of pentacles seven of pentacles and the knight of pentacles Boy, do they see potential with you, Virgo, but they're... Wow. This is very mercenary energy I'm getting. This person... Okay, Virgo, just be cautious. This person potentially is coming towards you, uh, kind of kissing your feet a little bit, blowing smoke up your ass, kind of thing. They see potential by attaching themselves to your coattails like they see you going far um and being successful and they want a piece of that um i feel like they think that you can almost teach them uh whether that's how to be an adult how to do better within their career how to organize their finances better it's almost like this person is coming in very with an immature energy um but it's also it's manipulative as well they want what you've got essentially so they might come back trying to avoid any you know discussing any conflict the two of you had before um yeah i feel like they might have ended something somewhere else potentially another relationship and they can no longer rely on that person financially, so they're coming towards you. Lots of red flags coming up for me for your reading here, Virgo. My apologies, but that's what the cards are giving me. Um, yeah, I'd be careful with whoever that is. Let me get you a spirit animal card. For Virgo, please. There we go. Okay. You have got the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. The white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. And the elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Indeed. Um, both, I mean, the, the white raven is a very spiritual, good omen. Um, very uh, highly... What's the phrase? revered like spiritual guardian and the eagle we think about the eagle flying high so high up in the sky that they can actually see everything that's going on so if you imagine someone's coming towards you with you know oh blah 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 all these positive promises they're making but they've got their fingers crossed behind their back the eagle sees it so there is a little bit of protection here for you for what's going on if you and i think that was still about that with your like gut feeling about this if you're like i don't know this could also be that you know there's a little bit of protection here from this person's attempts at bullshit by the looks of it um but yeah also i don't need to explain learn from the past because that's kind of 
I, I feel like you already are. You're like, wait a minute. What about how this went before? Are we not going to even talk about that? No, you just want to be my best buddy. Okay. So yeah, there we go. That's what I've got. I hope that you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. So we are now halfway through. Um, please do hit the like button for me. It'd be amazing. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if anything has resonated for you, please do leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, Libra. My lovely Libras, you have got the star card, um, which is Aquarius, Major Arcana. Star is pretty beautiful for an overall energy. I don't want to speak too soon, but I mean, that is pretty cool. Um, can talk about feeling pretty lucky, I want to say. Uh, optimistic. Um, I want to say almost like magic is in the air. Um, feeling both um the emotions flowing but also still grounded as well um yeah very nice um let's see where this goes let's use this one for libra please what's going on i feel like a, a positive turn of events or fated situation in your love life libra let's see though uh for libra why is the star card here for my lovely libras Five of Swords. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, the deck split when that came out and we've got the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. But when I'm looking at it, sorry, it's like this. The Knight of Wands is looking at the Four of Wands. Um, so, tell me more. Now, that's like... It could also be that you're shining very bright, Libra. You're, you're with that star NG. You're kind of... Uh, getting a lot of attention, feeling great, you know, six, like having success in your own personal life and getting revered by people, getting admired. Uh, there could be someone kind of got their focus set on you, uh, imagining a family with you, imagining commitment with you. But that Fire of Swords is giving me this could be someone, could be some jealousy uh, or someone spreading rumours is kind of what I want to say. Let's see. Tell me more for Libra, please. Ooh, nine of Wands with the Five of Cups behind it. And this Nine of Wands card is like, um, it's like my lurker energy or like someone watching you. But... Um, behind a, like a, a fence <laughs> so they're not making it known that they're watching you but they are so this could be someone watching you from a fake account uh in, on social media wise they are like it's bothering them what they're seeing about you uh if they're seeing you having some sort of success it's getting to them uh, it's like I, I'm almost getting like someone really emotionally triggered by what they're seeing happening for you. Now, this could be that they want what's going on for you. They want it for themselves um, or they're bothered about it for some other reason. So we'll see about that. But with, when that came out, we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Death card. So I feel like some really positive um, shift. Did I say that already? Uh, anyway, positive shift is happening in your life, Libra. But someone's bothered about it. Um, let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? Got the Seven of Wands again. Seven of Wands is the overall base energy for this reading. And now we've got it from another deck, the Seven of Wands. So... But this is like someone's saying or telling people that you're, what, are you too good for them now? Is that the problem? Or that's what they're telling people, that you're unreachable, that you're standoffish. 
could just be that you're protecting your peace, you're protecting your success and what is going on for you and you don't want to necessarily let every Tom, Dick and Harry know about it or to be in your business. What's this Five of Cups with the Nine of Wands, please? <laughs> Four of Pentacles with the lovers and the four of cups. Um, did someone turn you down before Libra? Or, ah, no, it's, um, it is, it's someone thinks that you're too good for them now, but I don't think you've necessarily said this. They, this is what they're telling themselves because they're watching you having really good success in your life and doing really well. Maybe you're getting a new job or, there's like uh, something coming for you, like a new chapter, which is really good. Just it could be um it could be a big purchase with that Ace of Pentacles. It could be you buying a house, you're buy buying your first house, buying a fancy car. I don't know, not necessarily. Or it could just be a it could be a new job or a promotion or something. But there's someone is looking at in your love life, but someone is. Uh, it's almost like someone getting angry drunk being like but they're angry at you because you're doing so well and they're telling themselves that it's like it's it's triggering them because they are, are deciding that you're telling them that they're not enough when you've never communicated that potentially it's just that they're like looking at you and then looking at themselves and they're getting angry at you because you're you're doing well and they don't feel like they have that much Okay, how does, why, why are they bothered? Um, I mean, how does, oh, I have to think of, yeah. How does this, what's going on with Libra's love life though? Whoa, okay, saw the Ace of Cups, but it didn't quite come out. What's going on with Libra's love life? Seven of Swords came out with the King of Wands. That's Aries Lear, Sag Energy. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, we've also got the Devil and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there is someone that you're not talking to anymore. For whatever reason. Maybe they, they were a bullshit artist, to be honest. Maybe they tried to make themselves out as very um, confident, secure. Um, they've got, you know, some bravado about them, but they're actually very insecure, especially about how much money they make. This is a, this is very fragile ego is what it's giving me. But I feel like you ha are no longer under the spell of this person. You're no longer speaking with them. Maybe you have distanced yourself from them a little bit. Maybe they're untrustworthy with that Seven of Swords, Five of Swords energy. I think that is who is um, getting so worked up and triggered about it. I mean, they're giving me very, very fragile ego. Now, meanwhile, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Now, if you haven't met someone new yet or um, you're not already with someone else, which is maybe part of the reason why you're not talking to this person anymore. Um, if it's not that, then you just know what you're, you've got clarity on what you're looking for in a romantic partner. And it's someone who gives equally and not, that doesn't mean that they, it's not necessarily about how much money they earn. It's about the fact that they uh, are, equal partners in some sort of in the relationship whether you know effort um investment of all sorts kind of thing and you, you your perspective and what you're looking for in a mate <laughs> let's just say like a a long-term partner has changed and it's like you want the real deal you maybe you do want someone who has got their shit together and is truly stable as well i don't this person strikes me as someone who just goes from um, 
flies by the seat of their pants and um, tries to get away with it. And no long term, no five year plan, no no savings, nothing. Uh, and yeah, you're not really you're not down for that, basically. So I don't know. I don't. There just seems to be this jealous, insecure person watching you at the moment, Libra, because you're doing really well in your life. Um, that's the main message. So it that's kind of yeah. Sorry, that's a bit. Well, you're gonna you're doing really well in your life, so maybe it's not gonna bother you that much. That there's not you know it's, it's not telling me about a new love as such. Maybe you are looking for love, but you know far more like what you're looking for now. And this person, I don't think they don't cut it because they don't. As I said, they don't have enough money. It's more about their their attitude, their mentality, their trustworthiness. It's like this is not a reliable long term partner material. Um, so they're bitter basically let's get you a animal spirit card to finish off for libra please okay we've got three we've got the electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life maybe that's what you're doing maybe you're starting your own business with that ace of pentacles um we've got the parrot spirit watch your words also because I just thought like how parrots repeat things that have been said and you know or they might repeat but redact it at the same time so or like you know so say things out of context or um say half the sentence yeah out of context um so it feels like some with that five of swords energy this feels like someone splitting what you're like twisting what you're saying to put you in a bad light or something like that. So be careful if anyone is messaging you, especially from like newly created accounts on social media, let's just say. And then we've got the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Um, but I feel like this is your rebirth, to be honest. Uh, I feel like you're going through, You maybe you have already gone through a transformation or this is a very transformative time and you're, you're like, this is your new um, debut into the world, uh, in your new self. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the swan spirit, which is time for a deep dive. But also you think about swans, they are so magnificent and smooth. You know, for everyone else watching, they are a star of uh, elegance, etc. But underneath the, you know, the feet are making it all happen. So, yeah, that's what I've got for you this time, Libra. I hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it interesting reading that one so moving on to my gorgeous scorpios you have the devil um, let me try and show you this card i have to cover most of it but yeah the devil so that is the major arcana for capricorn not all capricorns are devils um so my lovely scorpios well this can talk about you know a very lusty connection coming towards you in your love life and uh, you know someone that you can't get out of bed with like so it, yeah basically you don't want to leave the bed because of what's going on there uh or this could talk obviously about something unhealthy um some sort of attachment that still exists tying you and somebody else this could be like some unhealthy cycle that keeps being repeated between you and someone it might be coming back around in the near future um let's look into it the devil can go a million ways just checking if the dog's all right i think he's still under the blanket um why the devil for my lovely scorpios please why is the devil here <laughs> wow ace of wands and uh, the seven of cups we've got the deck split as well to show the strength card and the chariot so that is leo and cancer energy um ace of wands is pretty passionate we all know what it's uh designed to look like um and starts with p ends in alec no anyway it doesn't matter um yeah this i feel like it could be a temptation basically 
coming towards you in your love life, Scorpio. Um, it's just that this person has some red flags, is what I want to say. Uh, they There might be a little bit of a facade going on that the person that they're presenting to you is not necessarily their true character. Uh, this could be a bit risky, is what I want to say. Um, this could turn into something... <sighs> what do I want to say? Like, it could... Um, not spiral out of control, that's... No, it's too dramatic. But kind of, this could pick up speed or kind of become something bigger very quickly. Uh, it might just be so all-consuming is what I'm getting here, Scorpio, that you might start to... Um, you might start to... Other areas of your life might start to suffer because you're just completely wrapped up in this person. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so it's very hot and heavy, Scorpio. What's this devil about? Tell me about the devil. Why? Oh my gosh, the lovers. Uh, this is someone who you dealt with already. And they might ha have ended something in a very like brutal like you know end very thoughtlessly just completely abandoned you in the connection i feel like this is a repeating cycle with the lovers and the devil as well that is a that's a strong like the two of you still tied together that's like a strong soulmate connection i mean the devil card can actually talk about a soulmate of sorts but it's like depending on the context yeah let's let's see why is this up yeah nine of swords um has just flown out so this is this is concerning for you but i think it's also concerning because you might know the the, impact, the power that this person has to influence you, Scorpio. Like, you might find them very hard to resist. Um, there might also be a couple of options for you and love in the near future. And it might be that there's someone a little bit more uh, even-keeled uh, that is showing you interest. But it's like... Yeah, but it's not quite as exciting as the one which, you know, it might, I might get burnt again, but damn, it's fun in the meantime. <laughs> um, tell me about this. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, Six of Cups. Oh, you got someone coming back around, Scorpio. Um, let me grab a different deck yeah for sure it's kind of what I was getting already that the two of you are still um, very much tied to each other now if you don't want to be tied to this person you might want to look into a cord cutting ceremony that you can do um, but because I just keep seeing this cord between the two of you still um, that is existing it's pulling the two of you back together I feel like even if you went like the further you go apart eventually that cord becomes like an elastic band and then just springs you like you back together again but there must be some element of it that's not healthy that obviously this cycle keeps repeating and also that's why the devil's here so tell me what is the unhealthy element to this for scorpio The Knight of Swords just come out. Six of Swords. Eight of Swords. Oh my god. This feels like it might be... Oh yeah. Oh my god, I was just about to say that. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I was just about to say that. This feels like... um. 
someone might have a short temper or be very impulsive or, you know, suddenly rush off and disappear again. Uh, so there, it, it's like you can't rest or um, catch your breath because it's very one minute they're here, the next minute they disappear again. But it's like their word um, is final. And they might just on a spur of the moment be like, okay, I'm, I'm out, right, no, this isn't for me, I'm out. But they'll be back, like, and then they'll do it again. It's just very... And maybe you can't have a conversation with them about anything long-term. Like, if you do, then they're like, that's not what I want, bye, I'm kind of gone. So there's a concern for you here because I feel like they're going to... It might just start, uh, you might think, oh, I'll just have the physicality with them again i'll just enjoy that side of things but even if you try to only go that far only your emotions still get brought up for this person again it's, they still get like put through you know a roller coaster and this person's keep will just i feel like they're very flighty like <laughs> said that the knight of wands flies out um like they it's like they don't want to be caged or which is funny considering how the fact that you're, the two of you are like tied to each other energetically but they fear i don't know if they fear commitment or they fear settling down but this person is it's almost like a don't don't trap me in man like i need to if I want to leave, I'm going to leave, kind of thing. But the two of you are like magnets. You come back together. So, any advice for Scorpio? The moon with the three of pentacles and the world. Why the moon? Page of Wands. Queen of Swords. I, yeah, I think this is... The moon can talk a little bit about illusions and also this particular moon card, it's like, are you seeing what you want to see rather than what the reality is of the situation? Um, I feel like the the thing is that this person tempts you back in and then repeats the same pattern. And the kind of advice here is to have the have the straightforward conversation right at the start um, before you kind of allow certain things to happen and then you get into a situation where it's like it's like setting a precedent. So otherwise you already allow them to step all over your boundaries. It's much harder to then try and set a boundary once they're already past them. Whereas if you set that boundary to begin with, then they have to decide. And, you know, it, it's a little bit, obviously it might take the, the you lose out on, if, they, if they're like, oh, well, that, I'm not, you know, fine. Well, I'm not down for giving you what you actually want, Scorpio, then you know from the off rather than repeating the cycle. It's almost, it feels like you get drawn in by the passion, by the, you know, the excitement, by the fun. And then it gets to a point where you're like, oh, well, you know, now can we have the conversation? And they're like, no, 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 no. And they bolt. So the advice is kind of like, don't, see what you want to see about what this means that they're coming back and maybe this time you can build together and the cycle will be different it's like the only way the cycle is going to be different is if you're different and how you deal with this so can we get an animal spirit card for scorpio please my lovely scorpios here we go <laughs> we've got the wolf spirit which is the one that came out which is turn knowledge into wisdom which i guess is like it's no good knowing this is how the cycle plays out if you're gonna 
continue participating in the same way you might know that this is how it goes but turning knowledge into wisdom is okay well if this is how it goes what do i do differently this time and at the bottom of the deck we have the beaver spirit which is lay a solid foundation which funnily enough is that kind of three of pentacles energy as well if you want this to change from the current dynamic and into something with the potential to be more long lasting how it starts is going to influence that so setting those boundaries of the start um yeah will help you do just that so that's what i've got for you scorpio i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching um <laughs> that is the end of the second row of signs um so for anyone who hasn't yet please do hit the like button for me and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel i'd love to have you if anything has resonated please do leave me a comment and let me know i'd love to hear that uh, and yeah thank you so much for all the support so let's move on to the third and final row so first of all we have sagittarius my lovely saggies i hope you're really well so sagittarius you have the knight of wands as your card well there is passion off of this um it is fire energy it is exciting it's something kind of getting you a little bit worked up um maybe a bit of an adventurous spirit is what's coming here as well like someone who wants to maybe explore it could be <laughs> explore somebody else uh, in every possible way or explore new horizons which you know benefits your love life as well um so let's see use this one for Saggy, why is the Knight of Wands here, please? For Sagittarius. We've got the Ace of Wands, which kind of came out reverse, though. Why is that in reverse? The Queen of Swords, okay. Okay, Sagittarius, so... Um, whether you're the Knight of Wands or this is talking about someone else, someone wants you to um, take a chance on them and um, take a chance on the unknown is what I want to say. But you, well, someone's in the Queen of Swords energy, whoever's, you know, being asked to take a chance and being like, nope, I know how this one goes. I've seen this one play out before. Even if you, this is someone completely new, there's kind of like a cynicism here about, the potential of the future. This is like someone deciding that someone is unreliable and just in it for the kicks, their kicks or whatever, um, for passion only, and already like discounting them before it started uh, as a F boy, F girl, basically, uh, and that they're just gonna take what they want and then disappear. So tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. So this seems like heavily influenced by maybe somebody else. I don't know. I, I'm going to see, but I don't necessarily think it's anything this this person who's coming towards you, I'm going to say Saji, has actually done. If it's the other way around, just flip it. Um, It feels more like this is maybe you in a place where you've taken some knocks in your ability to believe in... The tr the good intentions of suitors, basically, just, I just think you maybe have dealt with people who have um, become complacent, not made the effort, um, just in it for a good time, definitely not a long time, and just got, like, bored quickly or um, lazy in, a, in relationships, and maybe just started to become a bit of a, a user, a bit of a leech, just take, 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 take without actually giving um so okay tell me more about this knight of wands that jeez <laughs> ace of swords with the six of cups came out and the high priestess as well hmm maybe it is someone from the past <laughs> But this, if so, you're like, no, I got your number already. <laughs> Tell me about the Six of Cups. What's that? What's the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? Oh, 
Oh, the star in... That is the star, isn't it? Yeah, the star in reverse. Sorry, the star and the moon in this deck almost look identical. <laughs> I have to check it every time. Um, the star in reverse and the seven of cups. This is... Well, talk about cynicism. Um, this is like there's no hope for this person. As I said, got your number. Um, this is... Wow. Tell me why is the star in reverse, please? It's like you just uh, are quite sure that they have got nothing to give you. As in, they're not bringing anything to the table. Maybe except passion. Why is justice here? Six of swords. Okay. Hmm. So this might be someone who is, um, there's like a humbleness here. Maybe you have no faith that this person is capable of being humble. Or they're, if it's not that, then they're like coming towards you a very meek way. Mm. Maybe wanting you to look after them or something. Maybe they're coming towards you being like, I was a bit, a bit of an idiot before, but I'm not seeing so much of an apology. Let's, let me dive a bit deeper. What is this? Who is this Knight of Wands for Sagittarius, please? Oh, Six of Cups again. <laughs> oh, I think this is somebody new. Yeah, shut up, Rose. I'm sorry. Six of Cups with the Death card that came out. So it seems this person, okay, it seems like this person is coming towards you, maybe saying that they have changed uh, from the last time that you knew them, or that they've gone through some things that have um, made them grow up a little bit. Maybe they uh, have experienced some conflict regarding a home or an inheritance from family or a property that, that people have been arguing over um but that's now that's now done but it has like changed them maybe maybe they're going to be saying they didn't have much before but now that that situation, you know, with the money, the property, whatever, is um, has finally been resolved, they're able to make steps forward for their own life. This could be someone who maybe they didn't put the work in in the past with you, or that's that's your impression that they were a taker. But they might be saying that it was, you know, because their money was tied up in a property that people were arguing over. Now they kind of want to make up for the lack of effort they or the fact that maybe you looked after them in the past they kind of want to make up for that now tell me about this knight of wands anything else what are their intentions towards okay, oh, okay. what are their intentions towards sagittarius this person who's coming towards them in their love life. What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? Well, we have the world and the ace of pentacles. Sorry, the world is also naked, so I'm just trying to hide that. We've got the world and the ace of pentacles together, of course. Of course, we have the seven of wands again. Remember, it's the overall energy for all the readings today um and we've got the nine of swords with the empress um, the, 
this this person's intentions is to fight for you to give them another chance effectively um they don't want anyone else having you is what i'm going sagittarius and they are worried they might be imagining you with other people um or you know with with a new person now is what i mean or like dating new people um they're kind of have been fantasizing about you is what i want to say um but they think you're a real catch and they don't want to let you go. They don't want anybody else to have you either, is what I'm getting. Um, hmm. Anything else Sagittarius needs to know? Um, how about this Knight of Wands, please? Hmm. The Devil with the King of Wands. That is really like a bit poss possessive over you. So why is... Sagittarius in the Queen of Swords energy about them. Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Oof. What about the Queen of Wands? Four of Cups in reverse. Um, okay. You getting you getting sassy with me, Sag? I mean, that is you. The Queen of Wands is your. You might have just got your confidence back here and. Um, Seven of Pentacles has just come out and the Nine of Pentacles. So what you're giving me is that this person is going to have to work, work hard to try and, um, uh, for you to even, like, give them another look. Uh, it feels like they have pissed you off with their behaviour in the past. Um, your it's now the board is going to be in your court, basically. You are in your power, you're in your, you're feeling sassy i want to say in a good way and you've got your mojo back you've got your self-confidence back uh, if this person wants another chance with you they've really got to prove that it's worth your time basically but i feel like they are gonna give it a good shout though um you need a spirit animal card for sagittarius please yeah you've got somebody coming back it could be that they screwed up the opportunity for a new, like that Ace of Wands, there was an opportunity in the past, maybe it was a failure, like a missed, a, fa a failure to launch in the past, coming back around. But you have no no faith in them in this part at this point. Um, so yeah, they've got their work cut out for them. Um, spirit animal card for Sagittarius, please. There we go. <laughs> We've got the fox spirit. Think on your feet. Mm -hmm. And bottom of the deck is the panther spirit. Reclaim your power. Did I not just say you've got your power back, Saggy? So there you go. Fox, fox. I do love foxes, but they are associated, you know, meta, uh, symbol, symbolis, sim, symbolism wise. They are um, associated with a little bit of a trickster energy, a little bit sneaky little fox so yeah i think this person is mm, gonna be trying every maybe trick in their own personal book not i'm not actually seeing any like trickster energy here but they're gonna be trying every their all of their go-to ways that they have to try and get get you to give them another chance Saji. So that's what I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. My dear Capricorns, how my lovely Cappy crew. Hope you're really well. Capricorn, you have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this, in terms of what's coming towards you in your love life, this could talk about options. It could also talk about um, a little bit of confusion energy. Uh, is this too good to be true? Is this an illusion or is this reality? Or also... Um, if you have multiple options, which one is the truth? Um, I just also got that someone is hiding something, but it's not necessarily, not necessarily the person that you think it is. That message just popped into my head. I don't know what that was about. Um, hmm. Let's just get straight into it. So tell me about for Capricorn, what is coming towards Capricorn in their love life? Why is the Seven of Cups here, please? It's like a hazy energy coming off this. What's this Seven of Cups about? What's the Capricorn? 
Why the Seven of Cups? We've got the Two of Cups. Oh boy. And the Star, uh, Aquarius Energy. Wow, my God. Okay, underneath the Star we have the Empress, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. I mean... This does look too good to be true. Um, tell me more, please. But the Two of Cups is the only card that came out. So why is the Two of Cups attached? I mean, that is like... Two and the Seven of Cups makes the Nine of Cups, which is like wish for a card of wish fulfillment. Wish is coming true, but... Mm, okay. Page of Cups has come out and the Three of Cups. My goodness, all cups so far, Capricorn. And um, this could be... Oh, God, I don't want to speak too soon. Page of Cups can talk about a new connection. Uh, if so, this could be like instant, um, like not like love at first sight, I guess. So like an instant um, connection. This could be someone that you meet through friends or through going out with friends or socializing or something. But this is, maybe this is just, wow, this is incredible. But is this real? Is, can this be trusted? Otherwise, the Page of Cups can be um, a bit of an apology, or, or like an emotional message or, of you know, a thoughtful message. Someone reaching out, maybe wanting to reunite. Tell me about this Page of Cups, please. Oh, my cappies. Of oh, the moon. <laughs> of course. The moon is, uh, you know, another major card talking about illusions, what's been hidden. Um, at the bottom of the deck we have more cups, of course. We've got the Five of Cups. Underneath that is the King of Cups. Underneath him is the Knight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. I cannot make this up. And then the deck split to show the Page of Swords as well. Okay. Maybe someone doesn't know what's going on with you, Capricorn, as well. So maybe that's why they're reaching out. There is a sense of regret here um, with that Five of Cups card, but this is someone who has is trying to find out about you, like information. What is really going on? What is the what's the truth? Maybe it's it's shrouded in mystery right now. But this is I cannot believe how many Cups cards there were when I started going down. But uh, this is someone who has a lot of love for you, Capricorn. Is looking at you like their emotions are bubbling up inside them again it's giving me i, I say again because i said this for someone else was it saggy or some i think it was sagittarius um again it's giving me an energy of a little bit of possess possessive over you not wanting anyone else to have you pretty gutted about how things stand between the two of you right now for some, some reason also they have feelings there with the knight of cups but this knight of cups card talks about emotion uh, love emotions romance that are not necessarily expressed they're just someone has i uh, kept these um feelings to themselves rather than being honest and declaring it this is like someone feeling so much and not saying anything um and watching and trying to find out about you and then underneath that is the eight of cups so i don't know if there is this regret here because you've detached from them and they what they're like trying to find out what's going on with you what's what's changed have you given up on them um what's this uh the moon what's uh hidden what's i feel like someone's trying to find something out with that page of swords so what are they trying to find out Mm, they're trying to find out if they, if it's possible for them to make a return before they do it. Yep, it's not somebody new. It's from the looks of it, for the majority of you, it's someone returning. Because we've got the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Is there a, the potential... <laughs> they split the deck and there's the Page of Swords again. Little spy, little spying buddy. Um, someone's trying to find out before they before they do it if they reach out to you is there a chance for a future but it's like they're not uh, yeah what the, what are they trying to find out before they do it why are they 
going back and forth about reaching out. Um, they're feeling all this emotion. What are they trying to find out before they, they reach out? What are they trying to find out? The star has come out. Yeah, I knew she was going to be there. <laughs> The Knight of Swords underneath that is the Queen of Swords. So basically, if they... <laughs> I think this is someone that you used to be very emotionally open with, Capricorn, that you wore your heart on your sleeve for them and you were had your heart completely open. Open to the prospect of the connection, open to the possibilities, completely open-hearted when it came to this person. And they rejected you or acted disinterested or acted like they didn't want like anything serious with anybody they just wanted to be a free man free woman and go about their business and not be tied down to anybody and um i think what they want to know now is 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 there any hope could they imagine is it too ridiculous to imagine that you would like let them back in now I think it, they're questioning their if they're daydreaming about thinking about doing it they're going back and forth they're like the question is um is this just a complete fantasy the idea of me getting back in touch with Capricorn and them giving me a chance um or could it be a reality or are they going to cut my head off if I get in touch um so let's just dig a little bit deeper let's use this one so what are they going to do? It, I mean, with that page of cups, it looks like they are. It's like they're quest someone's questioning if it's a possibility that the connection still remains between the two of you. Tell me about who is this for Capricorn, please? Who is this for Capricorn? Oh, fuck me. The Knight of Cups. Well, they're in this is someone who's in love with you, Capricorn. Tell me more. Who is this? I don't know. Queen of Swords. You're very um I think you've also like the lost some innocence about this person or the idea of love with this person you kind of there was some it's like you had a taste of reality about this person it may have changed your perspective about them it's like you took off the rose tinted glasses basically and they know that who is this oh my god eight of cups now the Nine of Swords and the Tower. Um, oh, wow. Underneath the Nine of... Did I say No, Nine of Swords is the Lovers and the Magician. Um, this person turned their back on you, I feel. They may have completely detached from you in the past or just gone in a, diff a different direction. Um... Page of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. This is someone uh, who wants to. Yeah, they they. <laughs> wow, they want to return, but in a big way. Wow, underneath the Four of Wands is the Two of Cups. This person wants to return in a big way. This is the thing, though. They're. It's like they're trying to write a message that will fix everything in like one message is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, underneath the Ace of Wands is the Empress and the Chariot and the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. This is like, this person wants to turn night into day in one single message that fixes everything. And all of a sudden you can get married and you know, everything's great. The two of you can have a family. Everything like does a complete 180 turn in how the relationship is, connection is between you right now to how they... No wonder if they're questioning 
if you know they're being a little bit optimistic here or if this is even this could be possible who is this to capricorn obviously someone from their past but like how do how will they know them <sighs> the ace of cups has come out now and the tower is at the bottom of the deck what about the ace of cups Guess who's back? It's the Seven of Wands from another deck. I think we're going to see it from every single tarot deck I own by the end of this reading. Remember, the Seven of Wands is the overall energy for all these mini readings. Um, the other cards that came out, we have Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Justice, and the Page of Swords. So whoever this is for you, Capricorn, this is someone who is imagining that you will fight them off, basically fight off any of their uh, attempts, advances. You're going to be extremely defensive, standoffish, um, not let them near you. But they're imagining because they took too long to make you some sort of offer or to stabilize some sort of connection um, or to come through for you, basically. And they are imagining that if you did this, if you acted in that way, it would be completely fair and that would be exactly what they deserved, which is kind of compounding why they're like, so there's no, you know, I, if I was Capricorn, I would also tell me to go fuck myself, basically. So why would, you know, why would Capricorn do anything different is kind of what I'm getting. So how does Capricorn feel about this person? Hmm. Uh, Four of Wands in reverse came out and then I saw the Ace of Swords. So basically you've accepted the fact, well as far as you're concerned you've accepted the fact that you can't have the, you know, the future with this person that you wanted and that has given you some sort of closure that you wanted marriage, family, long term with this person and you've accepted that that's not happening. But the funny thing is that they want that with you yeah knight of swords and hanged man in reverse they have maybe kept themselves stuck for a long time because they were healing from some hurt or some trauma that they experienced um out you know nothing to do with you outside of your connection that you had with this person but they have been stuck in for a long time whilst they need they worked on that on the bottom of the deck with the three of swords temperance which can talk about healing Eight of Pentacles working on themselves, Four of Swords healing from the Three of Swords, uh, and the Six of Swords moving on and leaving, you know, taking the lessons and moving on from it, leaving it in the past. And Four and Six of Swords was the Ten of Swords. So they, I feel like they have now come to the end of a time which was, they were stuck from progression in their love life because they needed to work through previous wounds, but they now want to rush in and be like hey you know what i do want all of that with you um but they are questioning oh, let me just sorry are they going to actually get in touch or are they just going back and forth i mean if there's they're not getting in touch then we know why because they're i just told you they they're like they completely think it will be fair enough if you told them where to go but i feel like they're going back and forth so for some of you they might get in touch for some of you they might not in the near future but is this person going to get in touch are they going to try and oh there's way too many it's literally like 12 cards hold on are they going to get in touch just the one. Oh, there you go page of cups and the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Bearing in mind that is literally one of the first cards that came out. Yeah, they are gonna get, they are gonna take a risk and get in touch and see what you say. Find out for themselves. Okay, so let's get a spirit animal card for you, Capricorn. And I guess the, t the thing is you will have choices on how you want to respond to them as well. The spirit animal card for 
Capricorn, please. Oh. There we go. Um, hummingbird spirit, be here now. Uh, and the deer spirit is at the bottom of the deck, bring a gentle touch. So it's kind of suggesting this is um, being in the moment, being present and not necessarily acting out now because of things that have happened in the past. This is acting from an authentic place of in the moment. And the deer spirit is, you know, being bring a gentle touch. Don't necessarily cut their head off. You know, there could be more success or more, you know, in whatever direction, even if you don't want to give them another chance, you might just it might just be better for everyone involved to take a gentle approach in dealing with them when they reach out. So that's what I've got for you this time, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Um, please do hit the like button for me. That would be amazing. If you'd like to subscribe, if you haven't already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So moving on to my wonderful Aquarius. Aquarius, you have the Nine of Cups as your card. So, and it's actually, I've just realized it's directly underneath um, Libra's card, which was the star. And both of those cards talk about um, wish fulfillment. It's the Major Arcana and Minor Arcana versions. So very nice. Nine of Cups can talk about a lot of um, feeling very fulfilled, contented, happy. Uh, so looks pretty positive, but I don't want to say too much. Um, so. <clears throat> Tell me for Aquarius. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Aquarius, please? Justice card came out, which is Libra's card, funnily enough. Oh, the sun. Damn. Aquarius, you have the sun and justice. The Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck. Oh, let the good times roll <laughs> with... This is very positive so far, but it also seems like, I want to say, you're you kind of, it's good karma, or you. this is very, very deserved, what's happening here, Libra. Oh, sorry, Aquarius, just because I was talking about Libra a second ago. Aquarius, this is like, it's, it's about damn time for Aquarius, is what I want to say, like, uh, tell me more. Why the Nine of Cups? What's coming towards Aquarius in their love life? Whoa! The Emperor. Oh, nice. So the deck split. We've got the Hierophant again. Okay, that's wild. Underneath the Hierophant is the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And to be fair, also the Lovers. Okay, that Page of Pentacles bringing you an ace of pentacles and then the other end of the deck we have the page of cups and the ace of cups wow you know again the page you know bringing you also so this feels like you might be meeting someone aquarius who is not only bringing you uh the all the warm fuzzy feelings but also, and like an emotional connection, but they're also following up with it with some stability, um, some long-term intentions, intention to build with you on something for the future. Someone who has their shit together, who is a provider, a um, strong sense of um, duty, responsibility. We've got Aries, Libra and Leo energy. Tell me more. Of course, now the Hierophant has come out. So that is Taurus. You've got four major arcana. <laughs> wow, Aquarius. Your first four cards, to clarify the Nine of Cups, are um, four major arcana. And all extremely lovely ones as well. Something is coming into balance for you and... This is like, you deserve this. Tell me about this emperor, please. 
taking something to the next level as well with that Hierophant energy. This is um, tradition, traditional kind of um, monogamous relationship. Wow, we've got the Death card that's come out with another major arcana, but it's come out with the Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Um, tell me about that, please. Oh, the devil, <laughs> another major arcana. <laughs> We've got Scorpio and Capricorn now as well, but the Capricorn, uh, the devil has come out in reverse. I mean, with the death card as well, has someone freed themselves or has, has unattached themselves from someone who had some sort of say over their life or had some control over them could have been to do with children potentially um but that's over like their their ability to call the shots in this person's life is has run its course it's no longer the case um tell me about this queen of wands oh King of Wands, holy crap. We've got Aries and Leo energy again. The King and Queen of Wands came out like that a couple, but with the death, uh, sorry, death card and the devil in reverse. Wow. Um, someone that has had judgment passed on them. I feel like it's this Queen of Wands who's had, <laughs> ooh, I don't know if they got caught uh like stealing money from the this king of wands but what it was whatever it was um or use just using them for their own benefit maybe they uh have children of their own who aren't you know this king of wands was um helping to co-parent kind of thing although it wasn't their children and this queen of wands may have just been using them to pay for their kids is kind of what I'm getting. It's a weird message. But anyway, whatever it was, the jig is up. Like time has been called, judgment has been passed. They, yeah, and if it's kind of like broken the spell that this person had over uh, effectively an emperor. But where does um, Aquarius fit into this? Where, where does Aquarius fit into all of this? Because you're looking pretty happy with the Nine of Cups. Where does Aquarius fit in? Oh man, alive. <laughs> the Empress. Bearing in mind we have the Emperor out. So you're coming through as their true divine counterpart. Basically they, someone... <laughs> My God, um, someone has freed themselves from a connection which was purely superficial and just for the benefit of the other person, like they were using them. That's why the connection was sustained. But they have freed themselves from it. This also seems to be like this seems is fair and is is right to be happening for the emperor as well. Like obviously, if they were getting used, then it's it's justice for them that they're actually released from that situation but I mean where do you fit into it I asked oh the freaking empress Aquarius so emperor empress and the hierophant and the bottom of the deck is the world justice and the ace of swords wow this is uh vindication energy as well this is like you were right Aquarius kind of thing or like <sighs> you were the one all along, something like that. Anything else about how, what's gonna be happening for Aquarius? What's coming towards them? I cannot believe how much Major Arcana is here. Bearing in mind the Empress is Major Arcana as well, but we've got the Magician and Temperance as well. And <laughs> the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Three of Cups. Uh, so it seems like you've been playing the long game Aquarius or been very patient in and going with the flow and allowing what you want your wish fulfillment to manifest in 
divine timing or in the time that when it when it's here it'll be the right time kind of your approach and it's paying off big time yeah communication coming in um from effectively your divine counterpart who has now got clarity the fact that you are theirs and whatever bullshit they were in before is is crumbled and rightly so by the looks of it wow totally taking this <laughs> For Aquarius moon and rising myself so hell yeah <laughs> anyway it's fantastic and the fact that I've purely on the table I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine major arcana out of eleven eleven cards that's crazy um this is huge and this is also it feels like a bit of divine intervention with this many major arcana this is like you you really what's happening here mere mortals do not have much control over this playing out this is destined to play out it's massive um wow so give me a spirit animal card for aquarius please Okay, we've got the deer spirit which is bring a gentle touch i think you will by the looks of it um you've got the spider spirit which is make your dreams real oh yeah they are <laughs> your wishes your dreams are manifesting as i already said and the nightingale spirit love is all around wow aquarius that's amazing i'm happy for you okie dokie let me just tidy these ones away. <laughs> wow. Okay, and finally, last but certainly not least, we have my lovely Pisces. Pisces, I hope you're really well. Thank you so much for being here. So your card today is the King of Wands for what's coming towards you um, hmm, when it comes to your love life. I mean, the King of Wands uh, is very action orientated. He's um, pretty, he means business and he's quite passionate and whatever he's passionate about, he makes that happen or like he takes action on it. This is not someone dilly dallying or um, questioning themselves. Very direct, authoritative, um, uh, fired up and also quite passionate. About whatever this is, is if this is about you, they're very passionate about you, Pisces. So let's get right into it. Um, tell me about this King of Wands for Pisces, please. This is uh, Aries Leo Sag energy with the King of Wands. Could be dealing with someone who has that strongly in the chart, but you don't have to be. Why the King of Wands, please? for Pisces. There we go. Justice. Okay. Libra energy. Oh. What the flip? At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the moon, which can sometimes be Pisces energy. But anyway, it's also about what is hidden. And the fact is we've got justice came out. So it's kind of like, Someone wants to make things, maybe to confess, or like fess up is what came into my head, or they feel like maybe they've treated you unfairly. Maybe they want to come clean about what, you know, so that you have the full picture because it's kind of unfair that you don't or something like this. Underneath the moon is the queen of wands, bearing in mind I'm clarifying the king of wands. Underneath the queen of wands is the queen of cups, which can be you, Pisces. It's water energy. Underneath the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Swords. I'm amazed the Queen of Pentacles isn't here. Three queens hidden underneath the moon. Yeah, you got some splaining to do, King of Wands. Jesus. Um, tell me, please, about this King of Wands for Pisces.
Tell me about the King of Wands for Pisces, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Well, listen, when I'm on it, I'm on it. The Ace of Swords has come out. And the Knight of Swords. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This King of Wands is going to be delivering a message to you, Pisces, to tell you the truth. I feel like they want to confess. What do they want to confess? They have three people on the go, including you, including an ex and a relationship. Like, were you... They were in a relationship, speaking to you and speaking to an ex. I don't know. Let's see. What is this? What's the uh, confession? They've decided they have to tell you this as well. Like, they... they with that King of Wands energy, it's very right. Well, I've just got I've got to tell Pisces the truth. So what is the truth? What's this Ace of Swords that they're delivering? Judgment in reverse with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Fool has come out with the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if this person made a poor choice in the past. They regret their decision. They were naive about something. They weren't. willing to level up maybe they chose something which was easy to choose tell me more what's this fool what's this fool energy oh wow five of swords and the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck i think they made an unwise move um like, they were foolish. I don't normally say that about the fool, but this is like... I feel like they might have suffered some sort of loss because of this the strength card. It's Leo energy. Grab another deck. Tell me more, please. What does this person want to tell Pisces? Wow. Why the devil, please? The devil in the five of cups. So, uh, yeah, this person has some regrets. They want to fess up to you. Throw themselves on your mercy by the looks of it. They're, I don't know if they got lured into something, I want to say, or like tempted into something, but they didn't get the full story before they uh, just went and jumped for it. It was very reckless move that they made, maybe in the past. Tell me about this Ace of Swords that they want to tell Pisces. Oh God, the King of Wands has come out with the Ten of Cups. Why? <laughs> the Chariot came out with the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you've now got the King and Queen of Wands that basically come out one after each other. Chariot and the Ten of Cups. I mean, it's still reckless with that chariot because also the other card that came out was the Ten of Swords. This is giving me this person is in the near future, someone is rushing towards you, Pisces, essentially. Very fired up, chasing you down, spilling their guts. They <sighs> missed an opportunity with you. They're, they're very disappointed in their, <laughs> the choices that they've made so far 
Um, they made... I feel like they lost control of some sort of situation that they just jumped into. It may now have come to an end and now they're jumping recklessly towards you. This person, I don't know if they're necessary. Not that you are also a reckless move, but it's like this person is giving me like a very, um, they're spontaneous and then there's just like all over the fucking place. Uh, tell me anything else about this person that's coming towards Pisces. Four of Pentacles. What's that? Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's a little bit more like... Mm, someone is hesitant, um, feels potentially vulnerable around this person and confused about what to do. Oh my god. Could be you that's feeling like that. I just described Pisces. The Queen of Cups has just come out and the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. Hmm, could be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you. Uh, yeah. There is a whole load of question marks about this person who is spilling their guts to you, Pisces. Uh, underneath the Queen, of, uh, the King of Cups, sorry, we have the Death card and the Page of Pentacles, which is also like they want to change the how the dynamic of how things are playing out with you at the moment. They want to change that by telling you some things, um, kind of letting you in on the their inner um, secrets, you know, like letting you into their inner circle a little bit more, maybe to kind of put you at ease. Um, to make maybe help you take a risk on them with the fool underneath that is the ten of wands and the moon uh the page of wands and the tower there's just like this and then underneath the tower is judgment there's just like this risky business with this person it's it's like uh i don't know if this person just comes with a lot of baggage that they're not being completely clear about um maybe they have some what is going on here what is that? i can't quite put my finger on it what is it about this person oh my god <laughs> the devil and guess who the seven of wands which is the overall energy for this i think it's come up in almost every single mini reading in from a different deck yeah, what is it with this person? The devil. Uh, they do. They have some toxic tendencies. They have some, maybe a temper. They have codependency tendencies. Uh, they get wrapped up in drama, in other people's drama, and they get pulled maybe by family members. Uh, in different directions, you know, this person's energy is er erratic. I feel like they've suffered a loss because of some stupid decision they made in the past, effectively, and now they're coming towards you equally recklessly. Um, to maybe to, to defend themselves to you as well. Um, but I did ask just straightforwardly to the, I was like, what is it about this person that I don't know if they're fighting their own demons or this is about you maybe also re getting some clarity about that this person's behavior is not he like healthy or reliable. It's not stable. It's very unstable. And there might be a need to like almost protect yourself from this person's erratic energy, Pisces. So let me just finish up with getting you a spirit animal card. Yeah, I feel like they've, they see you doing well. They know they made a bad call, but they've also suffered a bit of a loss. So uh, they're rushing towards you as fast as they can after that situation ended I don't think that's how it works so you know what I mean it's not like they chose someone else over you which is a bad call it it turned it got fucked up so now they're like immediately slamming that door and rushing over to you 
I don't know. Give me a spirit animal card for Pisces, please. Okay, we've got a few, but that's all right. We've got the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. We've got the whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, we have got deer spirit again. So This is coming out for so many signs. Uh, bring a gentle touch. And at the bottom of the deck, the parrot spirit. Watch your words. Um, well, I mean, the rabbit and the deer, very gentle, sweet. Animal spirits there. But I just get something here about... It's almost giving me like prey with the rabbit and the deer. Um, that it's things maybe going well for you as well. Like now is a lucky time. Like maybe things are prosperous and positive in your life right now. And you are gentle and kind. Uh, I just feel like this person's coming through as like a bit of a... I don't mean predator in a sexual predator way or anything like that. But like a predatory animal energy of um a little bit too domineering and a little bit too like yeah i'm just getting this like vulnerable energy off of you so yeah just be careful maybe what you say around this person as well is what i want to say and there is a bit of a mystery 100 percent going on with them i don't know if they have some sort of issues with addiction or toxic habits themselves but yeah be very careful my sweet little pisces that's what i've got for you this time and that is what i've got for everyone so i really hope that you enjoyed this bonus video and your mini readings i hope you watched all of your signs that are relevant to you um please do hit the like button for me if you haven't already huge thank you for doing so it means the world um subscribe to the channel if you'd like to i'd love to have you and if it resonated for you in any of the signs, please do leave me a comment and let me know. I wish you all my best. Thank you for all, for all the amazing support to the channel. It means the world. And I'll speak to you soon. And happy Easter if you celebrate. Thank you. Bye.